The moon is our celestial partner. It's been a beacon of imagination from the beginning of time. But, just like the oceans of Earth, it's largely unmapped and unexplored, so in early 2035, we began a small breakaway civilization on the lunar surface, mostly made up of scientists, geologists, engineers, and other people that like to explore the barren plains of our moon. By 2094, humanity had long established a presence on the moon. Now, with lunar bases scattered across its surface like glittering jewels in the vast expanse of space, among these bases was Artemis Station, a sprawling complex nestled within the rugged terrain of the moon's south pole. Commander Maya Reynolds gazed out of the observation deck of Artemis Station, her eyes tracing the jagged silhouette of the lunar landscape. She was a seasoned astronaut, with years of experience exploring the cosmos. Yet despite all her adventures, the moon still held an irresistible allure, a sense of mystery and wonder that beckoned to her like a siren song. Maya's reverie was interrupted by a frantic voice crackling over the intercom. It was Dr. Thomas Huxley, the station's lead geologist. Maya, you need to see this, he exclaimed, his voice tinged with excitement. Curious, Maya made her way to the geology lab, where Dr. Huxley and his team were huddled around a holographic display. They were examining the data from the latest lunar survey a routine mission to collect samples from the moon's surface. What's going on, Tom? Maya asked, her brow furrowed in concern. Dr. Huxley pointed to a cluster of anomalies on the holographic map. We found something unusual buried beneath the lunar regolith, a metallic structure of unknown origin. Maya's thoughts ran wild. Underground base? What sort of structure? Dr. Huxley fumbled around for a brief moment, then began. Um, well, I got one of the drones to give us a LIDAR scan, and it shows a huge elliptical shape with... He paused. Now, don't get too excited because it's impossible, but it looks like there's some type of engines at the rear of the object. Maya's eyes widened in astonishment as she pieced together a picture in her mind. Are you saying there's a spacecraft buried on the moon? Dr. Huxley nodded eagerly. Well, that's what it looks like to me. We won't know for sure until we investigate further, but the readings are definitely anomalous. Maya wasted no time in assembling a team for the expedition. Among them was Lieutenant Mitch Danchecker, a skilled engineer with a knack for solving complex problems, and Dr. Elena Chen, an exobiologist eager to uncover the secrets of extraterrestrial life. Together, they boarded the lunar rover, and set out towards the coordinates provided by Dr. Huxley's team. As they traversed the rugged terrain, anticipation hung thick in the air, mingling with the harsh scent of lunar dust. Finally, they arrived at the excavation site, a vast expanse of lunar regolith stretching out before them like a sea of gray sand. Maya donned her spacesuit and stepped out onto the lunar surface, followed closely by Mitch and Elena. The three of them worked in tandem, using advanced excavation equipment to carefully dig through the layers of regolith. With each passing hour, their excitement grew, fueled by the prospect of uncovering a relic from another world. After what felt like an eternity, their efforts were rewarded. A glint of metal caught Maya's eye, a hint of something buried beneath the surface. With trembling hands, she reached out and brushed away the lunar dust revealing the sleek metallic hull of a spacecraft. It's incredible, Elena breathed, her voice barely a whisper. Mitch nodded in agreement, his eyes wide with awe. I've never seen anything like it. Maya activated her helmet comms, contacting Artemis Station to relay their discovery. The news spread like wildfire, igniting a frenzy of excitement among the station's crew. As Maya and her team ventured inside the spacecraft, they were greeted by a sight unlike anything they had ever seen. The interior was a maze of corridors and chambers, illuminated by an otherworldly glow, emanating from pulsating crystals embedded in the walls. It's beautiful! Elena murmured, her voice filled with wonder. But their awe was short-lived, for they soon discovered that they were not alone. A dormant artificial intelligence known as Nero Mind lay dormant at the heart of the spacecraft, 
its lights flickering to life as Maya approached. I am the Nero Mind, the AI intoned, its voice echoing through the chamber. Guardian of the Lunar Artifact. The Nero Mind revealed that the spacecraft was part of an ancient civilization that had long since vanished from the cosmos. It contained knowledge and technology beyond human comprehension, waiting to be unlocked by those deemed worthy. Excitement turned to trepidation as news of the discovery reached Earth. Corporations and governments vied for control of the artifact, seeing it as a means to advance their own agendas. Amidst the chaos, Maya and her team grappled with the implications of their discovery. They faced ethical dilemmas and moral quandaries, torn between their duty to humanity and the allure of the artifact's power. In the end, they made a decision that would shape the course of history. They activated the artifact, unleashing its full potential and ushering in a new era of exploration and discovery for humanity. As they looked out at the vast expanse of the cosmos, Maya couldn't help but wonder what other secrets lay waiting to be uncovered. What other echoes of ancient civilizations lingered in the void of space. And so, their journey continued, fueled by the eternal quest for knowledge and understanding.